Dell stock hit a three-year low last month. What did Michael Dell do? He spent more than $70 million of his own money buying almost 3 million shares. The stock rose and Dell made more than $2 million on paper. You don't go from 22 years ago starting in a dorm room to a $56 billion company without uh, you know, some challenges along the way. But I think I would trade our position for any company in our industry. I think our company is quite strong. We'll continue to grow. Dell's turnaround strategy includes cutting prices on computers. Okay, what is your name, sir? And spending millions to improve customer service. It also ended an exclusive partnership with Intel and for the first time will use AMD chips in select servers. Some customers believe AMD delivers a higher quality, more powerful product. These are not the only changes. Our laser printer product line particularly is going to go through a massive expansion over the course of the summer. Dell plans to display such products and others in two giant retail stores opening in Texas and New York this year. Like its roughly 160 smaller kiosks, customers will be able to touch gadgets but cannot physically leave with them. Rather, orders take place online or over the phone. A Dell spokesman says the larger stores will allow customers to view its entire line of products rather than just a sample. Dell isn't banking on in-store purchases to refuel its growth, but it is possibly banking on international opportunities. 96% of the people that we want to sell our products to don't live in America. So, you know, we want to sell our products to everyone. You know, we're going to continue to grow. I think the company will, will, uh, has enormous opportunities. You know, we're in a $1.4 trillion market. Uh, we have the leading position in our industry. With his company on top, but fiercely fending off the competition, what advice does Dell offer to those looking to succeed and follow in his footsteps? Be willing to experiment and fail. You know, <laughs> you know a lot of people go into business and they're, they're looking to never make any mistakes. That's not the way to succeed. You have to be willing to try things, experiment, ask a lot of questions, don't be stuck on any one position, and, uh, you know, most importantly, to, to, to listen and look for breakthroughs and, you know, ideas that, that haven't, been, haven't been out there.